All right, so today we're going to learn how to use the Edit Transform tool in combination with the Liquify tool. First thing you're going to do is go to the P drive and you're going to go to Photo Demo Examples. And you're going to go to the folder called Edit Transform Practice. <coughs> Click on Watch and open that up, okay? Then, then you're going to need to open the image to be transformed. Uh, make sure you are on the background layer and it is not locked. So uh, you probably want to duplicate or double click, double click on the background layer so that it's called layer zero. Layer zero, okay. Now you're going to go up to edit. Edit, transform. And then you're going to see options here. You're going to see scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective, and warp. OK. Uh, we're going to try all of these. We're going to go scale. Scale is similar to the move to when you click on show transform and you click on the shift key it will scale your object to proper proportion so for example if I hold down the shift key and I scale this it's now doing it in pro proper proportion if I let go of the shift key it will skew it in a very bizarre way so that's all that we do with scale is make it in proper proportion for edit, transform, rotate. That is used to rotate an object, okay? So whenever you have it on rotate, it will just allow you to just turn it. And that is it. You can go back to open. And back to our original open image. If we go to edit, Edit, transform, skew. It's going to stretch it when you click on the little boxes at the corner or in the middle, and it'll skew left to right. So you can see here that I'm stretching it from left to right. Okay, so it skews it from left to right. Okay. If I go to Edit, Transform, Distort, it will twist it in a very bizarre way. So when you click on the little, little uh, corners, you will notice that it will twist almost like it's turning your clock. Okay, it's almost like you're seeing a side angle of your of your watch. So it distorts it. Okay. So if we go up here to edit, transform, perspective, it will, whatever you do on the left side, it will do on the right side. So it, it's even. It evenly will distort it, and it, keeping in mind linear perspective. So we make it go to a very sharp point here. We can see that the top of this is very uh, squished and the bottom of the watch is wider. So that's what we do with distort. We go to edit, transform, warp. It applies a grid to it. And if you click on each of these little corners or in here, it completely warps it, OK? All right, so those are the different options we have in Edit Transform. So now you're going to click on each to see what you can do with the clock. Uh, you're going to click the check mark in the option bar to commit the transformation. So right over here is the check mark. If you click on that, it commits the transformation. It keeps it there and in forever. So now um, if you click if we go back to Edit, Transform, Warp, if we click on the circle with the line through it, 
that cancels your work. So for example, if I were to manipulate this watch even more, okay, maybe, maybe bring it in a little bit, okay. Uh, if I click on that, it, it puts it back to what I had set previously. So it, it, it completely uh, cancels it. Um, if I go back to warp again and I manipulate this, and if I click on this little tool here at the top with uh, what looks like um, little arrows on a curved line with like a grid above it, if I click on that, it gets rid of the grid. If I click on that, it puts the grid back in, so it allows me to manipulate the watch even more. Okay, so now let's go in and let's use our liquify t tool to distort this even further. We're going to go to filter. And we're going to go to liquify. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bloat the handle, okay, on the clock. But I don't want to bloat the one that's next to it. So I am going to come up here and I'm going to use the reconstruct tool, that's very important, to put that back the way I had it. And I'm going to use our little thaw brush here, make it smaller. I'm going to use my little thaw brush and I'm going to paint all around this little dial, but I'm going to leave some space for me to bloat it a little bit, but also not mani manipulating the one. And also I don't want to manipulate the leaven, so I'm going to paint around it a little bit so I have a little bit of space to bloat it. I'm going to click on our bloat tool and I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to bloat that. Alright, well that was too drastic so I'm actually going to undo it. Put it back to what I had it before because I only want to bloat inside the red areas. I don't want to bloat on the outside edge. So I'm going to make a much smaller brush that will let me just bloat the inside. There we go. And then maybe this too. So now if I say OK, I now have my little dials bloated, but my 11 and my 1 have stayed the same. So if I go back to my warp level here, that's what it was originally before I started the liquify. And then if I add in liquify, that's what it looks like. And it looks kind of like a face. My watch kind of looks like it has a face on it now. And that is it.